What's going on guys, it's a review artist and today we're back again with the OnePlus One but this time it's not a review of the device, it's a review of the software and this is Sion Mod 12 so without further ado, let's get right into it So here it is guys, I am running Sion Mod 12 on my OnePlus One now there is an official Android 5.0.2 and that's available for download but you have to flash it on and that is Oxygen OS by OnePlus and basically with CyanogenGen they had a bit of a falling out or something happened I'm not really quite sure but it's no lo they no longer have a partnership but you still can get CyanogenGen 11 if you've uh, already um, backed up your ROM which is a good idea to do so basically to get Oxygen OS you have to root your phone first for some for some reason my phone says it's not rooting rooted but I did have Oxygen OS on here you have to go on the what the TWRP something like that um, I forgot what it was now I did all that and flash it so you have to flash the ROM onto this and to do that you have to root it first and a bit of code and you need command prompt everything but it's, it's not it was an easy process once yeah, I got the drivers and actually this is interesting guys so I had a driver problem and most of you had that so if it's not picking it up when you type in ADB devices and command prompt it is because basically the phone um, the drivers are not really being recognized by Windows so you can't reinstall the drivers as far as I'm aware so what I did is went on OnePlus One website and they gave me the Samsung drivers which worked fine on here and then you just replace it with uh, ADB drivers and everything's fine then and it works so basically yeah, you have to flash it onto here Oxygen OS which it did have um, but I didn't really like it. It was nice and it was really smooth. In fact, the smoothest one, smoother than this, I think. However, there's battery problems, and one big thing was there was no equalizer from OnePlus One. There was an equalizer already in the ROM, but it was rubbish. And literally, after putting your volume up by 60%, it sort of there was no sound above that. And as you can imagine, it's pretty low. It was clear, but it was really low. In fact, low as an S2, lower than an iPhone which you know this is a pretty loud and intense phone but yeah so I've got uh, I'm gonna say it's oxygen but I've got cyanogen I still have oxygen somewhere in here but I flashed cyanogen to mod 12 so here let's take a look at it so then you can see I did get the never settle from a website because it is that was on the oxygen wallpaper but I wanted that back again because I like the way it looked so it's a 1046 time standard Android 5.0 lock screen from your right you get the camera which is pretty clear it's still close clear but these are cyanogen apps and from your lock screen if you go to the left you, you get the calls but I do have a call history on there so yeah so um, this is the home screen you can see I am actually running the Google launcher because it is exactly the same but I think the icons are a bit bigger and I couldn't really find a way figure out a way to make them larger so yeah so this is Android 5. Up. Or dot two, and you go on settings, no notifications, about phone. Has it gone Android? So we triple click that, and then you can see it says Android Lollipop. Hold it. Where's the Flappy Droid? I called it Flappy Droid. There it is. So you can. Oh, that was a bit rubbish. So yeah. So um, this is the Android Five game I did. Score like two. But it's not there now so anyway yeah so the recent applications you can see it works fine so taking a look at the settings you can see that it is cyanogen mod 12 and that's the uh, nightly so it does get an update every night however i haven't received an update in a fairly long time as for applications you can see at the bottom a few of them are cyanogen so you can see the camera here is cyanogen there is a google camera available as you all know however I don't want that, I want the signage and want the signage and gallery and you can get those apps on the Play Store and the themes. So if you just go on the Play Store and type in the Cyanogen, there's a lot there's a gallery. However there is a gallery already here. And yeah, so swipe left brings you Google now, but that's because I've got the Google launcher, it wasn't pre installed. And there's a mu its own music um my camera froze then. Anyway, so yeah, so you can see it's the music player is fairly simple to use, however, play music I'm used to that and I don't want to change yet. 
but you can see applications run just as well and it's not laggy at all you might be able to see lagging a bit in the camera but it's not and you can see the calendar which is Easter what well, Easter's gone um, this is signage and calendar as far as I'm aware there is a Google calendar the calculator there's a clock signage in one you can see where it says at capital L for some reason it's always that context file manager Google settings and yeah so everything looks pretty similar oh yeah and themes and themes showcase and you as you are aware where you can change themes so there are a few themes of signage and I've done the review I'll leave the link in the description down below of my review oh that's actually nice and <laughs> all this looks better I think but anyway so yeah and oh there is an application there where you can exit all apps so yeah so that's just looking at the Star Engine 12 on the OnePlus One. Yeah, there's nothing too extravagant here. You can see the flashlight, it works. The toggles and widgets, the gestures do work, but I've turned them all off. And just to show you there, all on the battery. I'm not really sure how well the battery will do. So you can see the gestures there, this camera, music one, flashlight, and all this was in 11 and it's available in the Oxygen OS. So if you want Oxygen, you can get that. It's stable and it, yeah, it's really stable. Oxygen is more stable than this, I'd have to admit. However, the battery still is in concern. As I went to the cinemas and it went completely down. There's you no know, notifications. This battery has been doing well. I were on it for five minutes after unplugging it. It went down to 98, but I locked it and went back on it 10 minutes later and it went back up to 100% which is pretty good and yes yeah, it's, it's, it's been stable so far see if there's any faults it will be somewhere but yeah so it's just signage in mod 12 and if you want any help I'll tell you a bit I might do a video later but there's loads of videos of how to flush it on YouTube so yeah guys that's a review I speak in review a quick review of signage in mod 12 thanks for watching guys stay tuned and subscribe for more videos about this and other stuff. Peace. Subscribe.